Hi, I'm Mike Fiametta, and this is your Badger Herald Sports Update. The Badgers kept the axe for the eighth straight year again, and the Badger Herald is there. Hi, I'm Elliot Hughes, sports content editor of the Badger Herald. I'm here at the McLean Center with the Wisconsin football team, talking with them about their upcoming game against the Illinois Fighting Illini. After losing two straight games at the end of October, the Badgers have rebounded and now find themselves in control of their division. That has running back Monty Ball and others feeling like a weight's been lifted off their shoulders. Just like any other team coming up, you know, going to practice after two losses, it, mm -hmm. it you know, really stinks. But uh, I feel like it, it made us stronger. It, 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 it you know, kept us in the fight, and now, now we got to make sure that we carry that forward you know, to these next games because you know, we, we don't want the same thing to happen. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, Wisconsin still must win its last two games if it hopes to reach the Big Ten Championship game. So there's no time to relax. It's definitely nice to know that there's still a shot there, but you know, for there to continue to be a shot, it's like you said, it's the one and all thing. It's it's this week. If we don't win this week, we don't have a shot anymore. Frederick and the rest of the Wisconsin offensive line are also expecting a big test against the Illinois defensive line. The Illinois average over three sacks per game. That stat rings louder in no one else's ear like quarterback Russell Wilson's. It looks like pro style defensive ends. You know, they're tall, really athletic, fast, going around the edge really well. And so, um, you know, you, you really have to make sure you're stepping up in the pocket, you know, throwing the ball on time, making sure that you, you're just gaining, you know, positive gains every single play and, and trying to get first downs and then go from there. Thanks, Elliot. Through two games, the 13th ranked Wisconsin men's basketball team is on fire. Following an 85-31 win over Kennesaw State and a 68-41 win over Colgate Wednesday night, the Wisconsin Badgers are proving that despite losing three key starters from last year, there's more than enough talent on this team. The Bears have a much younger feel this season due primarily to the emergence of sophomore guard Ben Brust. After averaging less than one minute of playing time per game last season, Brust has emerged dramatically this season as the first man off Bo Ryan's bench. Brust leads the team with 15 and a half points per game and is 8 for 16 from behind the three-point line. As the Badgers move forward though, Ryan is looking for much more all-around improvement from this young team. Well, I don't... I don't worry about it. I don't, uh, he's the first one in, he, he has experience, um, so a guy like that's going to be a little more comfortable going into a game early in the year, uh, but it's a competitive world, and there's guys out there that, wants, that want minutes, and uh, if he wants his, he knows how to get them, like everybody else on the team does, and uh, I never leave any doubt about that. Also in Badgers action this week, the men's hockey team travels to Colorado to face the Colorado College Tigers. Last week, the Badgers split the weekend series with the top-ranked Minnesota Gophers. Associate Sports Editor Kelly Erickson has more. The Wisconsin men's hockey team has proven they can skate with the best, sweeping then number five North Dakota at home earlier this season and getting a win over number one Minnesota last weekend. Upsetting a number one team is never an easy task, especially for an unranked 500 team. But head coach Mike Eves couldn't help but focus on the disappointment felt by his team after splitting the series with number one Minnesota with a 3-1 to one win Friday and a 4-3 to three loss Saturday. You're 1-1 one, one going in the third period and you have an opportunity to, to, to get a sweep against a number one team. And so there's no question that it hurt, it rightfully show it should hurt when you're a competitive group. They head out on the road uh, to face off with now number five, uh, Colorado College this weekend. But it, since it's on the road, they might have some issues since they haven't been able to get a road win yet this season. Um, both of their win, upset wins um, have come at home, um, which is a very comfortable place for the Badgers. But this weekend is a special matchup as Wisconsin traveled to Colorado College at the end of last season with the hope to extend its season only to fall 2-1 to one in the series at CC, effectively ending UW's gritty season. Again, that word consistency comes to mind. I think that times we look very good. There's been times that we don't move it uh, uh, as well as we could, as quick as we could. And uh, you know, working on the, that skill set is, is something that we do every week. This is Kelly Erickson for the Badger Herald. It seems to me, and I know if you know this, Brian. Thanks, Kelly. This was your Badger Herald Sports Update. I'm Mike Fiametta, and have a happy Thanksgiving.